Hello and welcome, my name is Parky, and today we're playing some more Spore. Oh my god, there's an incoming transmission from my colony already. The planet Sinkst is not doing very well, it's always an eco-disaster, all the Grox attacking them. But you know what, we're just going to ignore it this time, because I've got more important things to do. I'm suffering from a bit of a, a sickness at the moment, so I apologise if I sound a bit off. And also, this is the reason why there hasn't been an episode for a little while. However, this has meant that it's given me time to start building up our money. And before you're like, Oh my god, Park, you've cheated! I haven't. I spent bloody ages over the weekend gathering all the spore from all the empires back at home, back by Planet Sinkst and all those places, selling it onto the other empires and everything. It took me about two days to get this much money. But it was worth it, because it now means that we have 40 million, which is good, because it now means that we can actually buy the endgame weapons. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So this is going to be an episode where basically we go around destroying stuff and testing out these weapons. Let's just recharge quickly. Right, okay, so this one is 27 million, and it is the Zionic Omega device. This is what you get when you add extra Zionium to an XSM, if you thought the stuff of Apocalypse was bad. Well, we're going to find out what this is like. I hope it's good. I don't know what it does. You need to be on a planet, though. Okay, and we've also got the Zionic Singularity missile, so let's grab one of these up. We've actually got four million left. I kind of went over, which is kind of irritating. But what it does mean is that we can aim towards getting the Photonic Chain Gun as well, because I definitely want to get that. And that's five million. Can we actually get there right now? It doesn't look like it. We've got 99 Yellow Spice, so if we find an Empire that wants to buy our Yellow Spice, then we can do this fairly quickly. So let's go and fly around, see if we can find something somewhere. Oh, look, they just expanded. God, the Green Empire. My God, the pre-humans. They're going, they're going ham on the galaxy. They're just, like, expanding as quickly as they can. It's crazy. Poor old Earth Empire still only has one planet there. I probably should actually get some more planets, shouldn't I? Instead of just sitting there never buying it or taking over any planets. I've, I've realised, actually, in this entire playthrough, I've not taken over any planets. Which is possibly not a very interesting thing to do. So I apologise. Okay, hello there. Do you want any yellow spice? If it's going to get me enough to get to 5 million, then I'll be happy. Where's this? 500,000? I think we can do a little bit better than that. I mean, they're offering a moderate amount, I suppose, but nothing too exciting. So let's go off into this area of the galaxy, because I think there's quite a few different nations over here that might be interested in buying our spice. Well, these guys definitely aren't. They're just instantly attacking us, which isn't helpful. Okay, Red Spice Planet. I mean, may maybe the Ferio guys, Ferio system guys will like us and like to buy our spice. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, well, how much can we get for this? Perfect, there we go. So now we can actually get the Photonic Chain Gun. Actually, we could have got it anyway, because it's cheaper here. Well, whatever. We're going to buy it now. Goodbye. Right, so we've actually got an excess of 2 million left over, so I suppose we could spend that on something else. Doesn't really matter, does it? So let's now find a nice civilization over this side that we can wipe out. I think this red empire here, they're a bit, they're a bit unfriendly with us. We might as well go and test out our weapon systems on them. I think they're going to regret being angry with us, though. I, I come from in peace. I come from peace. <laughs> I come from peace. Okay, let's get our weapon out. Where is it? Nuclear chain gun. Is that the same thing? Zionic singularity missiles. SSD flak cannon. And nuclear death cloud. Did we even try this one out? Supersonic death flak. Even scrap metal is a deadly weapon when it's moving at 80 kilometers per second. Oh, right, so we're, we're shooting off bits of rubbish from the spaceship. So it's like when the, the cabin, the, the toilet gets blocked up in the ship, you know, the, the stallboy doesn't want to go and clean it, so he just ejects the entire toilet from the ship at 80 kilometers per second. I think that sounds like fun. Zonic Singularity missiles as well. Doom! Oh, God. There's three of them going down. How much doom is this actually going to cause, though? Taking a little while to get there, although we are quite high up. Holy shit! Okay, that looks like it probably does quite a bit of damage. And also the fact is that it's actually created a crater on the planet with a load of lightning there. <laughs> right, okay then. Let's go and try this out. This sounds like fun. And of course, we've also got the other thing, which I... Where is it? Is it up here somewhere? Nuclear chain gun? Oh my god! Jesus Christ. And look, that destroys the... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I was not expecting this. And my voice you can't even handle what's going on right now. So where's this where's this city? I'm gonna go straight over here, try and wipe them out. How much damage is this gonna do? We'll just shoot one of them down there. Just to see. Okay, we're actually missing the city entirely. Okay, it hit it in one go. Well that's very interesting. I suppose we can now go and try this out. If it destroys a city in one hit, 
That's kind of OP, and at least it'll allow us to start taking on the Groks a bit more. I suppose that's one good thing. Okay, well, let's run in here quickly. I'm gonna get our weapon out again. What should we try out this time? I've got so much choice. I'm like a, a kid in a de deadly candy shop. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, let's grab the Zionic Singularity missiles. As soon as we fly over any city, we're just going to try and wipe it out in one hit. I'm wondering how this is going to react when we've got... Oh, this is different, isn't it? The Singularity missiles. It takes a little bit longer to get down there. Oh, well, that didn't wipe out the city, did it? That was rubbish. Okay, let's get the SSD flat cannon out. Oh, wow, this, like, literally destroys everything in one hit. Okay, well, fair enough, then. <laughs> See if we can take out the rest of these spaceships. It definitely destroys spaceships in one hit. Wow. Okay, then. So now, maybe if we go for the nuclear chain gun again. I think this is the thing I meant to use, but for some reason my brain is not working. You know, the, the mucus from my cold has actually blocked my brain. My brain or ability. So, yeah. This is something we're going to have to put up with, unfortunately. Can I not hit a city with this? Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Okay, so it doesn't really affect cities. Well, it does. It, it looks like it has completely affected the city, but it doesn't destroy it in one hit. Which is a bit of a pain. Okay, where's this other thing? I swear to God we have something else. Psionic Singularity Missiles. Nuclear Death Cloud. Okay, here we go. We're going to bombard this city from space using t far too many of these nuclear weapons, the Psionic Missiles. Look at them all going down. I think this is going to be quite bright. Oh my God. <laughs> It's quite literally like reinventing Fallout, but in Spore, isn't it? Holy shit! Okay, the, it doesn't do that much damage, though. If you look at all for all of that light show that we created there, it's done no damage to the city whatsoever. It's a good job. I don't know really why it hasn't done any damage. It doesn't really make much sense, does it? Okay, we're going to use a, an SSD flat cannon, I suppose, on this. Can we even destroy the central hall? We can't. Okay, that's fine. Nuclear chain gun, let's go. We're just going to go straight for the town hall. Yeah, this is much better. You definitely use the nuclear chain gun over everything else. Unfortunately, it seems like this still isn't a great way of destroying cities without being hit. And also, for some reason, we can't hit it when we're close. Okay, that's a bit weird. I don't understand. Oh my god. The game is, like, lagging out. <laughs> right, have we got anything here that we can repair with? As great as these weapons are, I don't really think they're particularly effective. It's like they make a big light show, but that's pretty much it. And they make nice craters in the ground. I mean, look at this. That's pretty crazy. I wonder how deep we could dig with one of these. We can shoot it pretty damn quickly as well. Let's have a little look. How much of a hole can we make? We got, have we got down to the water table yet? Oh yeah, we have. Look at this. Wow. Okay, and it's all like charred and black. Wow, that's crazy. Oh no, this is something different than Nuclear Death Cloud. I haven't used this yet, a mortar which shoots off tiny microscopic nuclear clusters. Oh, well that's lovely. I think it's cool that it actually seems to do damage to the environment as well. It makes it seem a bit more like deadly in a way, even though it isn't destroying the city itself. It's making a nice hole underneath it. It takes quite a while to recharge, which makes things a bit more difficult for us, but it's okay. I think we're probably going to die here. The point of this wasn't really to destroy this nation, it was more just to use our weapons to see how well they they work and all that jazz. So I think this is probably mission success. I mean, look at this, I'm literally on top of this city and it's not destroying it. How crazy is this? Okay, well there we go. We went up in a... <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? We went up in a massive ball of nuclear radiation. So that's lovely. Your Extermitron Space Explorer has taken so much damage it's been destroyed. Probably mostly self-inflicted damage, right? Well, either way, I think that's pretty good. I don't want to accidentally fire this at our own nation, though. That would be a bit of a shame, wouldn't it? Okay, so what else have we got to do now? Hey, Captain, did you make a wrong turn? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what else have we got? So we've got the Wildlife Sanctuary, which is something that I would quite like to do. I think all that is is basically put it down on a planet, and then that planet is unable to go beyond creature stage or something, and no other nation can attack that creature stage. Or I have no idea. I'm not really sure, to be honest, but I think we should maybe go for that. We've also got a Species Eradicator, which is 
kind of scary sounding. Maybe we could go to Planet Sinks and save them, I don't really know. But one thing that we need to do is we need to go and get maybe the Zoologist 3 badge, that seems good. Zoologist 2 for the Bioprotector as well, place on the planet to slow down the rate of biological disasters. Probably quite a useful one if we're going to have that many problems on Planet Sinks over and over again. But there we are. Okay, Frequent Flyer 5 badge. Don't know what we actually require for that, so let's have a little look. Oh, look at this. We're actually almost there. So we could just fly around for a little bit, try and get this badge. We only have to fly to 20 more star systems, which we can do really quickly. So let's just do that right now. I didn't realise we are so close to the Frequent Flyer 5 badge. To be honest, I don't know how much we can improve our range of jumping. But we're going to soon find out, because I can just like fly in between really quickly. Okay, so we could just go back and forth, actually, and make it a bit easier, wouldn't it? There we go! That was pretty quick. Lovely. So that's unlocked this Interstellar Drive 5. Maybe we could go and buy that right now, because obviously we don't get it instantly. So let's grab this up. Hi there. How much is the Interstellar Drive 5? And where is it? 1.6 million? Yeah, fine. Got so much money, I don't even care anymore. So how big is our jump radius now? Can we, like, go crazy distance? Ah, uh, it's not that crazy. I was sort of hoping for a bit more than that, although that is quite a, that is quite big, actually, I'm not going to lie. Okay, well, let's go and try and save some planets from eco-disaster getting the Ecologist badge. I think there's some other stuff in here that I'd like to do. Oh, look at this. Oh, it was flashing. It's because we got to the max level. So we need to basically avert three more eco-disasters to earn the Eco Hero 3 badge. So what better way to do that than to go home to Planet Sinkst and hopefully find some way of stopping the horrible ecosystem collapse on that planet. Oh dear, okay. Right, these people are at war with us, but I don't really care that much. We're just going to fly back to our other empire. Hopefully it won't take us too long now that we've got this nice um, boost on our distance. Been plundered by pirates as well. It's not a good day to be in the uh, Modivore Empire, is it? Okay, here we go. It didn't take us too long, but that increased flight distance is going to make things even easier. Urgent message for our captain. Our ecosystem is under great risk. Okay, well, God, it's look at how messy it is here. I've come back and it's like every single one of these empires expanded massively. I can't even really see what's going on. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, it's fine. We're going to ignore that as a problem. So let's go to the planet Sinkst. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to find out whether we can get this eco-disaster badge very easily. It looks like it's going to be moderately okay. Is there anything we can do here? How can we do this? Just put down some plants or something? Biosphere collapse, add plants and animals. Right, okay, so we need some animals in here. So what we can do is we can put down maybe... Have we got any herbivores with us? This herbivore is actually from this planet. So we need to go and grab some herbivores. Right, okay. So it's going to be kind of difficult to grab any of them from my own current system. So let's go around and try and grab up some herbivores and other things from this planet. There's bound to be something here. Actually, no, there isn't. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> That was a poor choice of planet. Okay, but let's go to some other place then. I suppose it doesn't really matter where we go. We can go to maybe this place. They'll probably have something. I think the best idea will actually be to go to a Terrascore 3 home planet. Which is obviously going to make things a bit easier in terms of finding stuff. Okay, so let's look for some animals here. It doesn't really matter what they are. Well, it does, but I'll grab anything. It doesn't really matter. So grab these guys up. What are they? They are carnivores. Okay, we need some herbivores as well, if we can spot them anywhere. These guys don't look the same, we'll grab them. They're also carnivores, god damn it. Okay, these guys, they're bound to be herbivores. Yes, there we go, herbivores. So we need one more herbivore, and then we've got everything that we need. So let's just look for something that looks completely different from all the other animals. Probably going to be kind of difficult to find, but it's okay. Shouldn't take us too long. Ah, here we go, what are you? They're also carnivores. Why are there so many carnivores on this planet? Why can't I find any of the herbivores? Okay, have I got any herbivores now? It looks like we've got another species. There we go. Perfect. So let's go back to Planet Sinks quickly. Oh dear, it actually looks like we've just run out of time. So we're probably going to have to replace one of these uh, plant species as well on the planet. But luckily enough, I accidentally grabbed up a load of those from that planet anyway. So we should be fine. So let's go back home. We're going to speak to these people. We're actually not speak to them. We're going to go into the atmosphere and try and sort them out. What is it with you, Planet Sinks? You're like the most unlucky planet in the world. Okay, so we need a large plant, of which I have here. So here we go. Terrascore has been stabilised. Now we want to put down a couple of herbivores. This one will do. 
Looks like a worm from worms, but that's okay. I'm just going to put down the cell mulg. And then the carnivore. And then it should all be fine. Again, don't question how they're going to mate. They're, they're asexual. They don't care. Okay. Thank you for your help. You really set the day back there. It would have been terrible without you. No trouble at all, my friends. Let's just recharge. We'll trade quickly. I don't know whether they want any of this stuff. It doesn't really look like it. But that's cool. That's one step closer to getting the wildlife sanctuary. But for today, there's been enough destruction and death. I feel like this is probably a good place to leave the episode. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave your support as always. And leave ratings. It really helps me out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.